John DeVore. Welcome to the channel. Today's a record review. It is the week before Christmas, and I thought I would talk a little bit about a record that I've liked for actually a really long time. I got this record actually when I was a kid, and I would say that it's a pretty good candidate for an under-the-radar Christmas record. The record is a Modern Jazz Quartet, MJQ, Blues on Bach. So the MJQ is, uh, I got into the MJQ because I'm a huge Milt Jackson fan. Milt Jackson is the vibes player on this. Um, but it's also, it's, uh, the main band leader is the pianist, John Lewis. Uh, Percy Heath is the bass player and Connie Kay uh, is the drummer in this particular lineup. This is the lineup that I, uh, mostly um, the lineup that I have on my records. And they were an unusual group in that John Lewis was really into uh, adding a lot of classical music influence into his jazz arrangements and even compositions. And this is probably the most blatant uh, version of that. And in this record, um, the songs alternate between uh, almost straight ahead played Bach pieces. There's, there's sort of like jazz quartet arrangements of famous uh, Bach melodies. And then uh, a number of original compositions that um, have, I guess, relate somewhat to the rest of the pieces. They do have a nice flow. And something that I just, uh, I never realized um, until I actually looked up this album online. So the blues pieces, the pieces that they wrote that are not parts, uh, that are not the Bach arrangements, the blues pieces are blues in B flat, blues in A minor, blues in C minor, and blues in H. H in Bach's time, the key of H was actually B major. They referred to it as H. And so all of those blues actually spell out Bach. Very clever. I should have realized it because those letters are, in fact, bold and white uh, in the credits. It's a, I would say it's a de facto Christmas record, even though I don't know that it was ever marketed as a Christmas record. But John Lewis actually, in uh, at least two, maybe three of the Bach pieces, um, he, he plays harpsichord on some of them, but he also has jingle bells uh, in the background. And as corny as that seems, it works. And I like it a lot. And it's a really cool group if you don't know it. Check their stuff out. Um, it's not, uh, this is not necessarily their best album, uh, but it is their best Christmassy album. Put it that way. Um, and the, the last thing I wanted to do is one of my favorite things and that is to go over some customer photos that have been sent in. First off, I get a lot of people who uh, complain that I only show photos of cats. So here is a wonderful photo of a Gibbon Super 9 system with a tube amp. I'm not sure what amp that is or turntable, but it's an analog system, nice. Beautiful little fireplace, very comfy looking bent ply chair and a very handsome uh, or lovely, I would say Boston Terrier, or maybe a mix, and maybe an elderly one uh, at that, but uh, enjoying their time staring out the window at lovely view on that elegant chaise lounge. Uh, very nice. Next up, we have a really just a remarkable space, beautiful hunting lodge. There's a, there's a guitar hanging up there. Uh, there's a big old elk's head surveying the scene and a pair of 096s in what looks like a, sh yeah, I see a Shindo preamp, Shindo power amp. Um, but that's just, a, that's a wonderful, just wood everywhere. It's a, a, what a beautiful, beautiful looking place to enjoy music. Next up, this is a pair of Oh, reference in the wild. <laughs> this is our first customer photo of the O oh, reference. A handsome, understated, and very elegant room there with what I would guess is going to become the most common setup with the, uh, the bass machines tucked back into the uh, front corners of the room and the O oh, ref A's pulled out in their proper spots. 
Looks like a pass labs. I'm, I think that is a 60.8 uh, pure class A amplifier there. Beautiful looking system. Very simple, uncluttered, great sort of color sense in there as well, uh, in my opinion. Next up, a very handsome cat uh, with his toy there proudly displayed on that nice little magazine stand. Here we have a Heed integrated amp, a classic 200 series, I believe, uh, Meridian disc player, uh, a turntable up top, which may be a clear audio, possibly. I'm not positive on that. And that is a vintage pair of Gibbon Super 9s in a that's a two-tone finish that we did for a little while that is bird's eye maple on the fronts and it's a natural wood veneer but it is composited from pieces of veneer so it is a sort of a man-made but real veneer uh, surface called italian ebony a uh, great looking room great looking little system there and i just have to say that i love the next photo is one of my very favorite photos of any of our speakers and that is that same pair of Gibbon Super 8s close up on the logo with somebody's legs in there. Very very pretty looking legs. Those are some nice legs. Uh, and the last photo is this is a new customer. I think they just had just recently uncrated the speakers and we're still uh, moving stuff around and trying to figure out the best spot. But what a gorgeous room. Look at that room. All that beautiful oak woodwork in there, built-ins. Oh, gorgeous. Round, uh, curved windows, I believe. That could just be the, the wide-angle lens. But what a beautiful, what a beautiful, beautiful spot that is. Um, wonderful. I love when you guys send in photos of your Dwarf Fidelity systems. I love it. I love seeing all of the different systems out there, the different configurations you know the rooms that they're in the systems that they enjoy um and of course the uh the furry friends that um that help make everything sound better so happy holidays everyone i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you at the next one thanks bye